What do you think you could bring to this team? A lot. What do you feel like you are physically right now? Physically, I feel good. You know, um, I, I feel like I haven't missed a beat. Um, you know, I've been training all this old, well, I can't call it all season, the, through the whole time that you know, I've been missing football. I've been training, keeping myself busy. Uh, so I haven't missed a beat. So. What did you know about this team? Did you have any, I mean, anybody that you spoke with, from the coaches to the players or any kind of history? I know a couple of players, and, you know, obviously I was at the Bucks, um, and I played this team well enough to know them and know some players on it. But uh, it just plug and go. You feel, I'm sorry, go ahead. Bro. No, go ahead. At this point of your career, do you feel like you played enough football that you can just kind of pick it up quick, plug and go? I'm just doing what they ask me. You know, I'm here to, you know, service and, you know, uh, to help out, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. One of the things this team, this defensive line specifically, has been struggling with is defending mobile quarterbacks. Do you feel like your game can help in that area? Uh, I play uh, a lot of football, so, you know, mobile quarterbacks ain't, ain't really a thing to me. So, no, it's just the way you play, so. How do you feel like like how has, has it been picking up the terminology and that is it has it been natural? It's different. Yeah. It's the same thing. Is you know uh, obviously uh, it's the same thing, but just different terminology and uh, different ways of saying things. And but once you know, I just I ask a lot of questions if I don't know something. So uh, it's gonna be easy for me to figure out things and get right back on track. So what is the process for learning it? Like is you going home like reciting it? Like what do you what do you kind of do to kind of memorize it? Being on the field, yeah. you know what I mean. Uh, obviously, you could be in the classroom, but a lot of guys learn differently. Uh, me, I'm when I'm out there. If I make a mistake, then I correct myself right then and there, and, and I ask the coach why you said this or said that, and then he'll explain to me. And then it's just I jot it down, and I won't do the same mistake twice. So it's basically just being out there and, and getting the feel for it. Anybody in particular that you've been talking to or leaning on for help? All the guys, you know. Um, today I was out there talking to all the guys. Um, I got a couple of plays in out there, and you know, when I was out there, I'm, I'm I'm a loud vocal person, especially on the field. Like, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know, somebody will correct me, otherwise I'm right. You know, but <laughs> <laughs> but I was out there being vocal, and and you know, it, this is a football. You got to talk out there. So those guys are doing a perfect job talking and you know filling in. And, and if I if, if I wasn't certain of something, you know, they told me no, it's this, and we talk it out before the play, and then we get right to it. As far as uh, 14 is kind of unique for a D lineman, mm -hmm. did you pick it? Did they give it to you? Well, uh, I picked it. You know, what I mean, it's my 14 year, so you know, what I mean, obviously 90 was taken, and uh, this is my 14 year, so I'm gonna do a lot of great things with that number. When you say you can bring a lot to this team, this team only has like 18 sacks. Was that one of those things where they kind of talked to you and said, "Hey, specifically, no, we need I'm to not." You know, at the end of the day, playing football is playing football to me. You know, sacks come, you know, bunches. You know, I've been playing this game well enough that know that. You know, you might have 18 sets, but this week you can have 20, 25, 30. You know, they come in bunches. You don't never know. Well, I feel like as long as you keep working towards that goal, you know, you'll get you'll get there. But for me personally, I just know what I can bring to the table. That's every that's uh, bringing the whole defense together all around. So, you know. What's it like when we, What was it like during those times when you weren't playing football? Like, how, how tough was that for you? Uh, you know, it, it's been it's been a minute. You know, uh, you know, obviously I. I, uh, I transitioned well, you know what I mean? I done been in this position plenty of time, especially with my injuries, you know, broken neck, you no know, fireworks incident, you know, so I was able to experience that side of non-football, you know, coming in, you know, mid-season, but throughout the whole time, I just know how to keep myself, you know, in shape and, you know, as soon as I get the car, I just plug in. Just like last year, I was with the Ravens. You know, I plugged in and went, and, and I did a pretty good job there. You know, and now I'm here. So, I'm, like I said, I'm just plug in and, and keep going and, and, and showing what I can do. 14, what are, what are some of the things, like, with that knowledge that you feel like makes you a better player just being around for 14 years? For being around for 14 years, man, two Super Bowls, and I just know how to do it, you know, so. I, I don't see a lot of things in football, so it's not really new to me. Seeing, like I said, it's different terminology. You know, I just got to figure it out. You know, it's how hard you want to play and be out there. So I want to play and, and, and be out there, so it's just how hard I'm going to figure it out.